Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Miss Bankable Show, where we equip kingdom entrepreneurs to start bankable and sustainable businesses based on biblical and practical principles. And today's topic is Millennial Kingdompreneurs Arise. Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord. And let me introduce myself. My name is Shade Banks and I am a business building expert and the host of the Miss Bankable Show. And today, as you can see, I have this beautiful and lovely lady with me, my dear friend, Yeda Raquel. And Yeda Raquel is, <laughs> yes, girl, is a stylepreneur. Um, and I invited her on here because she is a very inspiring millennial kingdompreneur. I mean, this woman is working hard to balance her career as a stylist, as a financial planner for one of the top financial firms in the country. Okay, she's also a mother and she is also an amazing leader. And so, Inyeda Raquel, tell us a little bit about yourself on today. Okay, so a little bit about myself. Um, Shade is already pretty much covered. I'm mother of a four year old, Benaya. Um, I'm a hairstylist at a very well known hair salon here in Tulsa, Z Studio. And the as far as the financial company I work for, Fortune 500 mm. financial company. It's called Northwestern Mutual. Um, and I'm a financial rep for them. Uh, I also lead the dance team at the Congregation of the Mighty under Chief Tala Price, mm -hmm. Chief Prophet Tala Price. Um, and it's the Congregation of the Mighty Ecclesial Embassy under our Chief mm. Apostle, Dr. Paula Ann Price. Yes. So thank you so much for telling us a little bit about yourself. And so um, I definitely wanted to to bring her on today, as you can see, so she can drop some nuggets so we can talk about some things. She's right now in her beginner business phase. She's a beginner startup entrepreneur launching out her new brand, uh, The Stylepreneur, her YouTube channel, her Facebook styling. She's going to be launching that out within the next few months. So I wanted to bring her on here, one, because she's my friend, also because I just listed her credentials. She just talked about what she um is doing as well also because she actually let me see the book yes also because she actually actually supported me and purchased my action guide the five keys to unlocking business success it is an action guide to building businesses on the biblical and practical principles so she has purchased this and she is beginning to go ahead and utilize the um and utilize all of the trainings that are within this manual um when you look up the statistics kingdom in particular kingdom millennials are opening businesses for three top reasons one is because it's the calling that's on their life mm -hmm. amen, amen. <laughs> if you call it to it you got to do it right and they are ready to be their own boss they want to pursue their own passions and the opportunity to become an entrepreneur has presented itself, especially during this time of COVID-19 and everything that is going on. Many opportunities have been poured out for millennials, for baby boomers, for people of all generations, tribes, nations, and tongues to become entrepreneurs. Okay. And so, and yeah, Raquel, I want to ask you, what was your reason for deciding to branch into entrepreneurship to pursue that call? Well, it was definitely an assignment. Thing for me. Um, and I actually had been called to business early in life. Um, I had been, you actually mentioned it on one of your broadcasts okay. before, <laughs> Okay. but I had been negotiating deals since a kid, like literally <laughs> negotiating. Let's, I believe so, it. Mom, can I do this? If I do this, will you let me do this? Um, I, I even wrote them contracts to okay. sign. Okay. What's your crayons are? I, I literally typed up a contract and told them this was a legally binding contract. Say hi to Benaya, y'all. This is Engage's son. <laughs> this is my son. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Benny, real quick. All right. So what were you saying? <laughs> yes, I, I literally gave them a legally binding contract because they had to <laughs> sign. And so, yes, I have been doing that since a, a kid. And when I came here from Miami... I literally took the assessment. Um, and once I took the assessment... Now, what assessment? So our viewers can know. Okay. The ministry assessment 
th- given through PPM Global um, resources. Mm-hmm. And so it actually asked a couple, uh, a, a lot of questions right. to target what your um, giftings are, yes. what office you're called to, mm-hmm. if you're working in your office already. A or ministerial office. Ministerial office yes. already, or if you're just manifesting these things. Um, it gives a really in-depth um by what what is the anatomy? Oh yeah, of your call or what, of, what of God has call. called you to. Yes. yes. And so after uh I actually retook it um recently after seven years, I retook it recently and got even more insight mm-hmm. as to what my identity is in the in the kingdom. All right. Oh, you um. said that. <laughs> your identity in the kingdom, my God. And uh, like our chief apostle always says, I can identity, identity is the key, the key to, to destiny. destiny. <laughs> So uh, it literally gives me a clear path to actually pursue everything that is in that destiny path. Everything else, I don't have to like go which way because now I'm I'm on a clear path. Right, right. You took the assessment and it helped you to narrow down and to help you to give you language for what was going on in you yes. ever since childhood. It gave her language about um, why she was negotiating deals, why she's a really good saleswoman, why she can sell water to a well, okay? <laughs> it gave her language. So in that path of discovery, of actually reaching out, um, taking an assessment, some of you, it might be getting a coach. Some of you will be consulting with um, those, your wise counselors, things of that nature. Her method was taking the MAQ, but all of us have different methods, different ways that God uh, leads us and guide us into our destiny. That was in Gator Raquel's. For others, it can be a different method. And so let me ask you this, okay? Yes. What were your influence to become a kingdompreneur? And by the way, I have not defined kingdompreneur, right? Because often in the church settings, we hear kingdom, 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 kingdom. Okay, so I'm going to define it. A uh, kingdom entrepreneur is an entrepreneur, is a Christian entrepreneur that uses their gifts and their talents given by God to advance the kingdom of God, to do his will and to build businesses. OK, and so oftentimes when um, when you are a kingdom entrepreneur, your calling is much bigger than running a business. God has slated, has destined your business to do major things in the earth realm to finance his goals, his objectives um, and he wants to use your business as a vessel, as a conduit of wealth, as a conduit of resources. There are kingdom entrepreneurs who are not only doing missionary work all over the world, but who also are funding and doing a lot of projects such as, such as building water wells over in Africa, yeah. such as opening up like Barclays Bank started off as a kingdom institution where when it first started, where it would go over to these third world nations and offer people micro loans so that entrepreneurship can be utilized as a self-sustaining source Mm -hmm. in different areas of the world and third nation countries. So God wants to do major things Mm -hmm. through the modern day kingdom entrepreneur. And so again, I ask you again, just to remind you, what were some of your influence to become a kingdom entrepreneur? What were some of my influences? Well, like I said, with the assessment, because I, literally I had uh, all these ideas. Mm-hmm. I've just been, you know, creating things, creating things. But even business wise, st- trying to start businesses or even trying to pursue careers in businesses and projects mm-hmm. without God, you mm-hmm. know, it was just. Terrible. Okay. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm a witness <laughs> in my own life. In my own life. I mean, everything. <laughs> I mean, everything that I tried to do, you know, it was kind of um, without his direction. Mm. It just, I mean, even just marriage because, you know, that's a... Nope. Mm, I think that's another broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Bless, Bless the, the Lord. Lord. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> so... Uh, once I did set my my right path, amen, and mm-hmm. literally start to converse with him on what he wanted me to do, how he wanted me to do it, mm-hmm. um, he knew already that I was a fighter. He knew already that you know he built me to be a a go getter. Okay, he built yes. me to want to like he put that in me to even want to take over territory for him. Come on, you know. So therefore. Now that I have the equipment, 
now that I have the actual knowledge. Yes. The vision. Yes. And the uh, the destination. Yes. Now I have a clear way to go and go go towards it. I have a map to actually follow. Okay. Um. So we with the influence is is literally been him influencing me, mm. but also the fact that I'm here under the leadership of our chief apostle. Yes. The her whole mm-hmm. her whole um structure yes how she's been building business how she is constructed business and mm-hmm. taking over territory for our king oh yes you know she has been very in- influential Absolutely. Um, but then uh, we also have numerous amounts of prophets um prophet Adi is my my key mentor mm-hmm. but chief tala mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. they've all been these just successful entrepreneurs not only with their businesses um, for the church itself, mm-hmm. but yes. outside of church. And so we both are a marketplace. So not necessarily that our business is just for the church itself, right? right. but outside of church and taking t- over that territory for him. Okay, great. And so one of the things I hope you guys picked up on it was one of the major influences for Engeta Raquel was having strong mentors who were also um, had her similar gifts, her similar talents and, and callings, but also they were able to help lead her, guide her, steer her to her destiny path along with the Holy Spirit, right? And so some of us, I want you to look around, um, look around and see who can be a great mentor for you. Somebody that is not going to steer you on the wide path, but keep you on the narrow path. Amen. But who can also speak life into you, who can also lead you, guide you, lead you to the proper resources. Um, And again, go ahead and share this out if it is blessing you. And one other thing I wanted to talk about when you're talking about mentorship, entrepreneurship, did you know that 60% of businesses fail to turn a profit in their first year? 20% of businesses fail in the first year. And so I want to help you to avoid getting into that place of failure and financial woe, frustration and overwhelm. All you have to do is just sign up for my new webinar called the how to build a how to build a bankable business. The link is now going to be featured down below right here in my sc- scroller. Sign up today. The webinar is um, filmed tomorrow live where I will be giving you the five keys that you need to build a bankable and a, a, a sustainable business. I'll be going over branding, marketing, operation systems, soul hindrances that block prosperity and how to partner with Jesus Christ. Just like Anyeda was saying, when she connected with Jesus Christ, that opened up a whole new. Nub- a whole nother level of wisdom, understanding, planning, strategy for her. And so I'm going to show you how to... Hey, Kingdom Visionary, this is Sade Banks checking in with you, also known as the business building expert and the host of the Miss Bankable Show. Just dropping in while we are talking about courses, I want to invite you guys to enroll in my free webinar called Learn How to Build a Bankable Business. This webinar is for Christian startup entrepreneurs who are just beginning out in business. I want to help you avoid becoming a statistic and not be able to generate 60% of a profit within your first year of doing business. Now here it says that the date will be on the 27th of May. You can ignore that. Once you sign up, you will get immediate access to this masterclass and you can begin building a bankable brand today. Now listen, what are you going to get from watching this webinar? You are going to learn the five keys to building a bankable business. You will also learn biblical principles of success and the soul his the soul hindrances, excuse me, that kill prosperity, plus a whole lot more. Of course, I always encourage you to share out this webinar to your friends, your family, your business besties. You have my bio here and just some client testimonials from people who were blown away by my excellent service and courses. So again, if you want to enroll, visit B for boy, I T dot L Y slash bankable webinar and enroll in this masterclass course today. Amen. All right. And so go ahead and sign up for that uh, free webinar. And so in Gator Raquel, um, now let's talk about the actual the book. book. Yes. Yes. The actual book again. Yes. 
the five keys to unlocking business success, the action guide to building businesses on biblical and practical principles. And Yada purchased this book from me for about, about um, a little less than a month ago. It's over 116 pages and it covers everything you need to build a bankable and a sustainable business. Um, like I said, it covers godly principles it covers how to set up your marketing how to set up your branding how to set up everything that you need to run a business okay and so and get that when you purchase the book what was your initial thoughts about the the about about the program about the book okay so first i flipped through these pages and i said oh this is serious <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. This is nothing to play with. I actually need to sit down and have time to mm -hmm. actually look over this and do the work because there is actually work in here to make it actionable for you. So um, that's one of the things I really loved about this book. Not only does um, she give the language, but she has the scenarios for you. Yeah. So the scenarios and then the action for you to go ahead and do the action and then even give your own conclusion as to what you've actually learned. So mm -hmm. that there way that that way you're actually implementing and assimilating the information that you've learned. Yeah. So what I did was I wanted to combine my years of experience as a uh as a banking officer, as a banking analyst, I combined that along with all my professional skill sets, my master's degree, my experiences opening both product and service-based businesses. I combined it all, the lessons that I've learned, you know, uh, all into this action guide to help you to build a bankable business and a bankable brand. And so thank you so much for sharing your testimonial about the greatness of the book, if I must say, glory be to Jesus, because he sat me down <laughs> and he he set me down and he said, I, I need this from you. So this was a product that I created under the auspices of the Holy Spirit. He helped me from page one all the way to page 116. Couldn't have got it done without him. And so can I say this? Too? Sure. So also, even though I had the mentorship and everything else like that, having a profit <laughs> a profit, in, a profit in training. I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. I told, I told them already. I'm that. so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Excuse me. Excuse What's me. What's out there? Now? Having having a kingdom, a kingdom entrepreneur actually make a, a transcript. Uh, amen. For you know other <laughs> up and coming kingdom entrepreneurs having this as a resource there's not a lot of resources out there so having this as a resource actually gives us god's mind on actual business yeah because every there's a, you, a plethora of business books that you can read but how about having actually god's mind on the topic of business absolutely that's important for for you know, for kingdom entrepreneurs is to be able to see how, what God thinks about business and how he yeah. can use business to advance the kingdom, to advance our lives, to advance yeah. the community. God wants us to solve problems through our business. And so I thank you so much for bringing that out, my <laughs> yeah. friend. Okay. And so um, what was one of the lessons that you learned about being a kingdom businesswoman? Now, I know earlier you were saying um, you gave a little bit about this, but mm -hmm. how... What is one of the differences between being a kingdom businesswoman and being a secular businesswoman or a non-believe? Well, no, you always believed. Yes. But before you walked into salvation and got the new creation spirit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So what was the difference in how you operated business between those two lives? Well, one thing, it was the shift of the mind, first of all. Mm. So God, anything that God does is an everlasting situation. All right. So that alone, <laughs> you know, if you want to have everlasting <laughs> ability, mm. and even when we look at secular, let's we, we can even look at some secular um, businesses okay. that have actually taken God's principle and made those everlasting businesses. They won't yeah. tell you that it's, it's that they God. use the Bible. Yeah, they won't, they won't tell, tell you, that. you that. But that's how they get that everlasting ability. And so having. God's mind has made that a total difference. And so shifting from just pulling from the secular world and fo following their principles and right. following what they, they got going on, you know, actually leaning towards, you know, the true, the true power. 
Right. Amen. The one and only. He that gives power to get wealth. Yes. The beginning and the end. Hallelujah. <laughs> the alpha and the omega. <laughs> okay. Yes. So going to him, you know, for direction, going to him for business has just been the change. Um, and it's even cause for a synchronicity, but also mm, a peace yes, of mind, yes. a peace that I, I don't worry as much as I was worrying before mm -hmm. about where I'm getting money from. How am I going to take care of uh, this endeavor? How am I even going to take care of Benaya? Right. You know, um, Amen. so I, I have a different peace about it versus when I was in the secular or striving secularly. Okay. All right, she says something there. And partnering with the Lord Jesus Christ, he has ensured, first of all, he secures your salvation. He's not going to let you go into business or, um, you know, because that Holy Spirit is an alerter. Okay. Uh, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing this. You know, he works with you, first of all, to keep your salvation. So to do those types of things that would... Um, you know, put you at risk and, and put you in a, un, a place of unrighteousness before him. Right. And so it's so important for kingdom entrepreneurs. Now, I'm not saying don't listen to secular trainings, but I am saying know the difference. Get your filters up. Don't receive everything that they are giving you. If they're leading you to do practices that are, are outside of the righteousness of God, um, then, you know, no. No. And so it is so important. Um, one of the things that I've noticed as I was doing my research, there are not a lot of Christian entrepreneurial classes such as mine. I can say that because I've done the research that takes you on how to business build a business from A to Z. And so if you want a snippet of that, if you want to begin building a bankable business, then go ahead and sign up for my webinar that is airing live tomorrow. And so my final question for Anyeda today would be, on your course of entrepreneurship, what is one of the things that you can recall distinctively that God has moved mightily with you as a business owner? Well, taking care of me one uh, financially okay there's been financial gifts uh people have just found favor with me and yes. wanted to pour into me yes. um people you know literally called me up hey do you need anything mm -hmm. just just out of the blue yeah <laughs> and so i've just that's just one you know one way but just putting my hand to the plow you know, the Lord has backed me, you know, just putting my hand to the plow and he's helping me out. He's even opening yes. up my understanding yes. as I research. He's opened up my understanding some more what he thinks about my research, what he has to say. Yes. So bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. OK, so with that being said, we thank you so much. And Yeda, do you have any final thoughts that you want to give perhaps about your financial planning business, your styling business, your styling services, anything that you want to let the people know before we call it a night? OK, sure. Um, so the website is coming soon or it's, it's up, but I'm definitely making some changes to it. But it's yeah. the stylepreneur.me. Um, and you'll be able to consult with me about, you know, just um, your personal style, uh, styling your closet, new wardrobes. I do shopping. I go shopping for people as well. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, I do photo shoots and um, on the set of photo shoots and live tapings as well for makeup and styling that way. Uh, but also, you know, the hair. Definitely, you can contact me for that um, through Z Studio. I'm um, mm -hmm. at the South location um, in Tulsa, for, Oklahoma. In Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, my financial um, planning that is across the board. I can do business anywhere. You can go to my website in Yada Simmons .com, and you can find me there and get even more information about each and every service I do with that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, I think I covered everything. Okay. So we're going to close out in prayer again. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for watching both on Angeda's channel and my own, the Miss Bankable show. Like I said, go ahead, sign up for my free webinar and let's go ahead and pray. 
Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you for every soul that has tuned into this to this class, Father. We pray, Lord God, that it has put a smile on your face and that it has been pleasing unto you, Father, for everything that we do, every step that we take, every move that we make, oh God, we have you in mind. So we thank you, Holy Spirit, for joining us on today, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for everyone that has joined on this call, Father. We just pray now that you uproot every fear, Lord Lord God, that they would have against pursuing their call of entrepreneurship. We thank you now for mentors. We thank you, Lord God, for your word being a lamp unto their feet, Lord God, for you leading them and guiding them, Father, to this call, opening up opportunities, opening up their treasury, pouring into them, Lord God, that they may be able to afford whatever they need to afford, Father, to further their careers as entrepreneurs. And so, Lord God, we just thank you. We shut down now every territorial devil that that would try to stop the men and women of God and pursuing what God you have called for them to do in this season and in this year. Father, continue to reveal help for those who are unbelieving. Help their unbelief, oh God. For those who are in need of sanctification, Lord God, that they may hear you better. May you bring draw them into seasons of sanctification, oh God. Continue to supply your needs unto your people. We will not give into the territorial devils of this age called fear, but we shut that down, Lord God. Continue to pour into the atmosphere of your people. Continue to pour into our hearts, Father, that power, that love, and that sound mind. We thank you for the grace, Lord God, to be able to overcome even the objections of our own soul and the objections of the naysayer, the objections of those who won't support us or who talk against us. We shut down now every voice now in the name of Jesus. And Father, you be exalted. You be lifted up father help us to make covenant with you to give you access father to all of our decisions concerning our business we thank you for the opening of creativity we thank you for the opening of witty inventions oh god we thank you for the opening of visions and dreams continue to pour out your spirit amongst your people lord god that we may go and take territory as kingdompreneurs for your name's sake for the advancement of the kingdom we thank you father for the anointing and the power to get wealth oh god we thank you for the ability to war father for our inheritance jesus had to war for our inheritance we have to war for our inheritance and we thank you for it now in the name of jesus we thank you father that it is you that gives us the power to take out the amalekites and the perezic sites and all those other rights of the heathen that will try to stop us from fulfilling our mission and our mandate to advance the kingdom of god and we just thank you for it now in the name of jesus we thank you for the anointing upon your millennials oh god we thank you father that whatever has been said uh, about us father you are molding and shaping and crafting this generation to do mighty exploits in your name and so we thank you he that knows their god will do mighty exploits and so we thank you for drawing us in that we may know you even the more so we can be empowered and endued with your grace and with your strength and your power your wisdom your knowledge your understanding to go forth arise and shine and take back what the enemy has stolen from you and the mighty name of jesus amen amen amen, amen. amen.